Okay. I'll get that. Yeah. Can you just run the hypertonic? Yeah, yeah, when the red phone rings in Resus, it's not to bring good news. Roll on. It brings details from ambulance control about incoming patients. Hi, can you put out a code black trauma, but say code black trauma patient arriving in two minutes? Adult trauma team to a &E resus. We don't have the normal time to get ready that we're used to, so we don't normally say it's going to be in two minutes. But I don't want people to think they've got the normal five to ten, so they're going to come quickly. Code Black is one of the highest levels of trauma call. It indicates a serious head injury. Can you tell us what's... Uh, there's a badly injured patient coming in has got fixed dilated pupils, um, which is a sign of brain death. But because they're two minutes away, there's a chance we can repress that. In fact, three patients are arriving at the same time, all from the same crash. Three bays in resus are made ready. We're just set up ready so that when they're here, we can take a handover straight away and, and start getting things And is this standard sort of. kit you get out? So this is just stuff for bloods and IV access, so that if they need fluids or medications or bloods, then we can give it straight away. All right, guys, so it's this is back. an unknown female, GCS3, not moving any limbs. Injuries from top to toe, she's got a scalp laceration, she looks like she's got... So there's, there's one coming, this is the other one, so she's the only one that's badly injured. But we're certainly concerned about a large head injury with dilated pupils. OK. Within minutes, the woman is taken for a scan. They need to check the damage to her head. The signs aren't good. And back in Resus, the two other victims of the crash will also need scans. Do let the other one go first. So do you want to go to CT? Because that one hasn't got access. It turns out that one of those injured in the crash is actually a medical student studying at the trust that is now treating him. You're a student? Yeah. Where about? You're a medical student? Yeah. Have you told anyone that? Are you keeping him quiet? No. He has injuries to his kidney that aren't considered too serious. The third victim has broken limbs. The team weren't able to save the woman. And typical, I guess, of what happens, you all sit around, but when something does happen, you're ready for it. Despite what you think, we actually do very little sitting around. Uh, we've had 550 patients through the department each night outside of the recess room, so we have been busy. But, yeah, this was... Uh, uh, particular need to step up because they're all badly injured. This is a place where lives are regularly saved, but staff also know that not all of the patients will survive. Sometimes you don't know which one's going to like get you and um, yeah and so it will surprise you that it might just it might be like a 90 year old man that's just dying at, or it could be I don't know an 18 year old that's been stabbed and it, you don't know which one will upset you more. And does having that team around you help? Yeah, definitely. We just go to the pub after work <laughs> and have a lot to drink. <laughs> There's little time to dwell. The next call comes in. The next ambulance has arrived outside. Carl Mercer, BBC London News.